Colin Christie with GlideFast Consulting. Today, I'll be talking about machine learning powered service mapping and enhancements that have been made around traffic based discovery and utilizing the machine learning based connection suggestions for the Rome release. So, when we're talking about the enhancements that were made to the machine learning connection suggestions, we're also talking about traffic based discovery when it comes to service maps. And traffic based discovery previously would have gathered NetStat data while running discovery on these servers. And it would have started drawing outgoing connections from the servers based on the NetStat data that it found. Now, this would lead to connections being drawn and servers being included in the map that are not necessarily part of this application service. And because of this, customers have traditionally been disabling traffic-based discovery because it brings a lot of clutter into the map and it makes them pretty unusable. So now with the enhancements that have been made to the traffic-based discovery, we can utilize the connection suggestions instead of just getting all the connections that were found to be drawn on the map. And for this application, what was discovered so far was discovered by the out-of-the-box patterns. So I haven't had to do any additional development work to get this result, but now I'm at the point where I know there should be another connection from this Apache server. And I know that because I sent a questionnaire to the application SME and he provided me the details on this application and what was indicated on that questionnaire was that there should be an outgoing connection from this Apache server on port 5678. So before the updates to the connection suggestions, if that connection was found, it would have been drawn, but so would every other connection that was found. So now I can click on that CI and say, show me connection suggestions. And here we go. We found uh, an outgoing connection and it's showing us which IP and it's telling us it's on port 5678. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. So before the enhancements, I would have had to either create a new extension section or connectivity section, or I would have had to just manually add this in. So this gives us a third option now that I can tell ServiceNow, hey, this is something I want to be included in this map. And I can just go ahead and say, add. Now we should see that the service will update and include that connection. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh the map. And so now we're seeing that the service update is in progress. And I expect to see that new connection get brought into the map. Do another refresh there. And there we go. There's the new connection that I was expecting to see. And there it is, port 5678. That's the host. And that's the CI that was discovered based on that connection. So I was able to do that very quickly without any development work. And now every time Discovery reruns on this application service map to refresh the data, it will include this connection in the map. So now that I've included the connection I was looking for into the EU billing service map, my work is done here. Well, that is true as long as I want this connection to be included in every application service map where this Apache server exists and a connection to port 5678 is found on this host. And to demonstrate what I mean by this, let's take a look at the APAC billing application service, which is the APAC version of the EU billing application service we were just looking at. So we can see the same Apache server exists and we've got the same worker process CI and the same connection on this host of port 5678. So you might be thinking now, okay, well, isn't that essentially the same thing as 
the way we had it before, where traffic-based discovery is drawing connections to CIs that aren't actually part of this application service. Well, so here's where we get to do a little bit of fine tuning and really tell the service mapping what we do want and what we don't want. So if I wanted to only include that connection in the EU billing application service, I can set up a connection rule to tell it to do that. So for five, six, seven, eight on Apache for EU billing. And we're gonna specify similar conditions to the connection suggestion record that we had. Only now we're gonna add an extra step. Okay, so we've got our IP port is 5678 and source CI is the Apache server. So now I still have a field I need to fill out and that's discovered application service. And I have this available to me because the scope is set to local. If I change the scope to global, now this rule would apply to any application service. But by setting the scope to local, I can now specify, I only want this rule to apply to the EU billing application service. So I'll go ahead and save this. And now I've got a connection rule that will be specific to the EU billing application service. So the next time discovery runs on the APAC billing application service, I am gonna go back here and do a reset. And then the next time discovery runs on the APAC billing, that connection should not reappear and I expect it to disappear now that I've removed it from the connection suggestion. Let's do another refresh and there it goes. So now let's go back to EU billing and I expect to see it gone from there as well. And it is, and that is because this will apply to every application service if I go ahead and add this into the map. If I only want it to apply to a single application service, I can utilize the connection rule.